Yo no lo puedo explicar todo el tiempo que estuve buscando a Daniel Francese para poder hablar de esta película llamada Mean Girls, chicas pesadas también, ¿por qué no? Y lo encontré en la Comic Con de Nueva York donde hablamos de cómo fue pensar a este personaje, de cómo fue que se lo presentaron y también, por supuesto, del legado de esta película que ya tiene casi 20 años. How did you get along with the girls? Like you were oh, so great. tight. We had so much fun. Um, you know, a lot, it's really weird because I didn't go to high school with them, but we all feel like we went to high school together oh, yeah. because we keep getting brought back together for such amazing things, and we all share this amazing experience together. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm Janice. This is Damien. Watch out! New meat coming through. Mean Girls, um, obviously, has been a huge movie. Nobody uh, that did it expected it to be that huge. I, I, most of you know, if you know me, that I was closeted at the time that I did it, and then in the 10 year anniversary, I came out. Um, thank you. Yay! Uh, there was a lot of pressure early on in Hollywood and cinema and everything to sort of just like, you know, not be gay. <laughs> um, and so I was like really worried about all of that stuff. I was worried about not being able to have a career, or be able to support my family, like, or be able to eat, or, you know. All those kind of things. It was back when I was like doing movies to pay the rent kind of thing. This map shows the school's central nervous system, the cafeteria. You got your cool Asians, burnouts, jocks, the greatest people you will ever meet, and the worst. How was this character described to you when you started like to preparing it? Because you say that he wasn't out of the closet yet. Yeah, Damien was described to me as that moment between I'm pretty sure I'm gay and my first kiss, which is like just a sweet, special moment. And I think because of that, Uh, and Damien never having a boyfriend in the movie or kissing a guy or having anyone to dance with at Spring Fling. I feel like uh, he, through optics you couldn't really tell he was gay unless you really watched the movie and you knew what was up. So it made it through a lot of censors and it made it to make it into a lot of territories where gay people are cut out of films and gay films aren't allowed. And it was really impactful for a lot of people to be able to see themselves in a character that wasn't uh, showcased as an abomination or somebody who, uh, you know, um, was doing a bad thing. So it was really nice um, to be able to hear that, that input come back to me from people after all these years. Is that your natural hair color? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Thank you. See, this is the color I want. This is Damien. He's almost too gay to function. You know, I, I got a, a couple of letters from people in um, different places in Africa just, you know, saying a lot, one guy was going to commit suicide until he saw the character. You know, it's kind of incredible to uh, be in a comedy that you think is something that's light, but it could have such a heavy impact on a lot of people. And that just goes to show how much equality and representation and diversity really matter um, and how much anyone out there that's a creator you need to really make sure you put those things into your uh, products because um, people really need to see themselves represented. People had sent me letters saying like me and my brother do not get along but this was the movie we bonded on or I got a letter from a girl who said uh, in uh, Dallas that said you know my best friend's gay and my, my family doesn't want me to be, even be friends with him but then Mean Girls came out and they loved Damien so now he's allowed to come to dinner and Aww. spend the night over. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and we'd all eat be happy. She doesn't even go here. It's going to be 20 years. Why do you think we're still talking about this movie? I think it has a lot to do with the fact that it was based on a parenting book. So a lot of the things that the girls went through in the movie are things that girls actually go through. And it's informative and I think it also is a lot of fun to uh, watch, it's funny, you know, and some of the performances are really well, good, um, mine especially, no, <laughs> and so, um, no, it's, it's just a fun thing to be a part of, who knows, you know, I think part of it has to do with the internet and social media being kind of like, invented like around the same time as the movie, like, you know, we, had, we got Twitter, Instagram, all those things came out right around the same time as the movie, so, when memes started be becoming really popular, yeah. they if, if meme 101 is Mean Girls. Like if you just take anything and yeah. splice it with a scene from Mean Girls, you got a good meme on your hands. Like if I would blow her off to hang out with Kyle, she'd be like, why didn't you call me back? And I'd be like, why are you so obsessed with me?